Good morning, brethren, sisters, Church of the Living God. Hi. Today, brethren, is January the 18th. And maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you do not know this. There are false prophets out there, for example, uh, this channel called God Unlimited with this weirdo on it named Albert, who has been telling people uh, that today, the 18th, is the day when Trump is supposed to regain the presidency. <laughs> and um, now he, this Albert guy on God Unlimited is not the only one who is uh, promoting this. But many of you may have or may not have heard that January the 18th, today, is when Trump is going to miraculously win the presidency back or some kind of nonsense. Turn in your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, to Jeremiah chapter 23. We will be reading verses 16 on to verse 32. Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 16, on to verse 32. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord has said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord? And who and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed and until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, he shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets. Yet they ran. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesy. False prophets running to the forefront. Wanting to be the star of the show. The center of uh, attention. Look at me. Look at me. I have dreamed a dream. I have dreamed a dream. The Lord God hath said unto me. When he hath said nothing. Nothing to you. False prophets. But if they had stood in my counsel and caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned from their e from then excuse me, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. How shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? For example, this God Unlimited channel with this weirdo Albert with the big smile talking about how people have dreamed dreams and sharing dreams and saying about Trump today, the 18th, is going to get the presidency. See, if that guy Albert on that God Unlimited channel were truly of the Lord, he would be warning you through the scriptures. He would be warning you through the scriptures. Making you know the truth. Preaching the truth. Turning people from wickedness onto the Lord. What does it say there? What does it say there in verse 22? But if they had stood in my counsel and caused my and had caused my people to hear my words, the scriptures, 
Then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. But no, look at me, I have dreamed a dream. The Lord has said to me when the Lord has said nothing to these people. Verse 23, am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord, omnipresent, omnipotent, God is everywhere, yes. Yes, he sees, he hears, even you lost people, even you devils. <clears throat> Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts, of their own heart. All you who are prophesying a Trump coming, that Trump is coming to claim the presidency or win it again today on the 18th. All you false prophets are liars. You're liars. You've seen nothing. You've seen absolutely nothing. And also, too, for warning for you false prophets. Can any hide himself in secret places? Verse 24. That I shall not see him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. You know, that channel got unlimited. With Albert. I hope he sees this video. Probably will not because he has millions of views and what, 100,000 subscribers. But if by some chance, Albert from God Unlimited, you false prophet, you liar, you charlatan, you're a devil. And you are in danger for making people believe in a lie. There is no fear of God before your eyes. The Lord rebuke you, devil. Albert. At God Unlimited. I hope you see this. I really do. I really do. You're in a lot of trouble with the Lord, Albert. May God have mercy on you. Let's continue. Let's pick up from verse 26. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. In other words, going to the false prophets instead of going to the scriptures to our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, the Spirit of Truth who will guide you into all truth. See, these false prophets want people to come unto them, not unto the Scriptures, not unto our Lord Jesus Christ. These false prophets want to interpret to these lost people who are claiming to be Christians. They want these people. To tell them what God has said. They want it. They want this. They are setting, they have set themselves up. They want the people to go to them instead of to the scriptures and to the Lord Himself, who shall guide you into all truth. See, but see these false prophets. If they did that, pointed them to the scriptures, then every single one of these people would be like, uh, wait, wait, turn here, turn. Whoa. You're a false prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's continue. The prophet that hath dreamed 
The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell the dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? You see that? Okay. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell the dream. Chaff that gets burnt up. To the wheat. Wheat. You make bread out of wheat, don't you? Flour, wheat flour. Yeah, you can make bread out of different kinds of flour. Yeah, but the prophet that hath the dream, let him tell the dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Saith the Lord. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And chaff gets burnt up. Okay? While wheat is attributed onto food. The authorized version of the scriptures. So yeah, all you false prophets, you go ahead and tell your dream to the gullible who want you to interpret what God says. Little G God of this world. Yeah. 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 Let's continue. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord? And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongue and say, He saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies. And by their likeness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all. Set. And also, let us remember Ezekiel chapter 13. Ezekiel chapter 13, brethren. Ezekiel chapter 13, crisp pages. <laughs> verses 1 under verse 3. Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 1. On to verse 3. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. They have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Other false prophets uh, confirming their lies. See, Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. I know I said the verse uh, 3, but we had to continue reading that. And you also have to remember, brethren, about these false prophets. Go to Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20, verses 28 on to verse 32. Acts chapter 20, verses 28 on to verse 32. And heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which, over the which the Holy Ghost, and the Lord is that spirit, hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood, those who are saved. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years, 
I cease not to warn every one night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. See, guys like Albert, at God Unlimited, Sid Roth, all these wicked charismatics who say, I have dreamed, I have dreamed, the Lord said, albeit he has said nothing to them. The little G God of this world, yes, but our God who is our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, no. no. Jeremiah now, chapter 5. Jeremiah chapter 5. Jeremiah chapter 5, verses 25 on to verse 31. See, these false prophets who are prophesying these lies about Trump and all these signs and wonders kinds of things and just milking the gullible. And those who are not broken nor contrite feeding these people what they want to hear. See, these false prophets are a judgment upon those of you who want to fall for these things. This is God's judgment. Jeremiah chapter 5, verses 25 on to verse 31. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. Again, God unlimited. Okay? Selling coffee cups and t-shirts. Making merchandise of you. Look, if you're a babe or a novice, grace, we must give you grace. But a stern warning. These charismatic false prophets sharing with you dreams that contradict the scriptures. New revelations that are nowhere in scripture, that are contrary to scripture. These people are prophesying to you out of their own heart and have seen nothing. You need to be aware of this. You need to be cautious. That's why you need to examine yourself in the scripture and prove all things according to the scriptures. Because old Albert over there uh, at God Unlimited He's not turning any of these people to the scriptures because if he did, they would search the scriptures and find out that he's a false prophet. Verse 28, they are waxen fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. And for us here in America, Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end, though? What will ye do in the end thereof? Go to Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. <clears throat> Verse 
Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Isaiah chapter 3. I'm going to read my own handwriting. Isaiah chapter 3. Isaiah chapter 3. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Now we have to remember, dispensationally and doctrinally, this is obviously written unto the Jewish people. But all things that were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through the scriptures, might have comfort and hope. I just paraphrased that, beg your pardon. Romans 15, verse 4. Check it out on your own time. This is to instruct us in righteousness. Famine is coming here in America too. Because what does it say here? For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. The mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator. It's going to affect everybody. I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed, everyone by another. And every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this ruin be under thy hand. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be in Hela. For in my, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. Is not America against the Lord? Do not we in America, this country, provoke the Lord? Hmm? Does not my nation do that? The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. And they declare their sin is Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. You know, Kamala Harris, the soon to be president of the United States of America. Oh, oh well, Joe, uh, Joe Biden is going to be president. He's just a front man. The Jesuits want Kamala Harris as the president. You watch. Smoking Joe ain't going to last that long. And you look at what's coming, the inauguration here in America, right? They have the National Guard with their guns being around uh, at the inauguration. And here in America on the 6th, the coup of the Capitol building. Some scary times are coming to our country of America. <clears throat> As for my people, children are their oppressors, and ru women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy past. Trump was allowed to be president of this country as a sign, as, as not as a sign, as 
judgment on this wicked nation, which is America. And Kamala Harris, with the front person being smoking Joe, it's a sign of judgment. Judgment is upon America. And with the coming administration of Kamala Harris, America is very close to falling. Very close. You need to be prepared. You need to be prepared, dear friend. Because, O oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. This masks, the poisonous vaccine, the nonsensical social distancing, which is actually the six foot thing, is for the contact tracers, you know, spies. People spying on you, contact tracers. If they're too close, closer than six foot, they can't get an accurate reading. Okay? Mandatory face mask laws coming to our nation here in America. Look at what's going on in Australia. Template for what's coming to our nation. The Lord standeth up to plead and stand to judge his people. The Lord standeth up to plead as a lawyer, you could say. Look up the word plead in Webster's 1828 dictionary, okay? As a lawyer presenting a case, okay? Uh, I just lost my place. Uh, the Lord standeth up to plead to, and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched Forth next some wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and the calls and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets, and the, muffler, and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and those jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. All of that is adornment for the flesh, the outer adornments of the flesh. To make a shoe of piety. But inside. The full of dead men's bones. And it shall come to pass. that instead of sweet smell. There shall be stink. And instead of a girdle of rent. And instead of well set hair baldness. And instead of a stomacher. A girding of sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. Hmm. Some horrific times are coming to this nation, brethren, sisters, church of the living God, and those of you, my countrymen, Do not be deceived. Do not be fooled. Please. Today is the 18th. And these false prophets were saying stuff like, today's the day when Trump is going to win the election. When on this Wednesday, Kamala Harris will be sworn in as the president with her front man smoking joke.
And unto these false prophets. See, when their false prophecies fail, too, they're going to blame the Lord. They're not going to ever take accountability or responsibility for their false prophets. Because remember, they're making merchandise of the gullible. And those who do not know our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, nor the scriptures. Okay? When these false prophecies fail, they're going to put the blame on God and not on themselves. And at the end of this day on the 18th, I will be leaving a comment on God Unlimited for Albert. So much for your false prophecies. Brethren, the future of America, there is no brightness. There is no hope for our country. The judgment of our Lord, Jesus Christ, God our Father, is against this nation. You need to get right. You need to get saved. Do not fall for these false prophets. Because they make you vain. And they prophesy a lie unto you out of their own heart. And they have seen them. And again, Albert at God Unlimited, you wicked, false prophet, you devil. The Lord rebuke you. And may he break you and bring devastation upon you that perhaps in that destruction you may truly turn unto the Lord. And repent of yourself. And be contrite. Because all these charismatic false prophets. Prophesying unto you all lies. Their end is destruction. And are you going to follow them to hell? I pray not. It's going to be it for this video. Got several other videos I'm doing today. This one's just going to be a very quick one addressing this thing about today is the 18th. So, thank you so much for watching this if you do. See you in the next video.